953,721. 953,720. One time. I can remember only having my close family. Maybe two or three friends that didn't know me well. But I can't remember when being popular was the same as being me. Being dark. I can't remember when laughing was for joy and not making fun of the way someone looked or spoke or where they were from. You know, sometimes it feels like it's safer to be alone. At least alone. You'll never have to face falling down in front of others. I was really hoping that bullying was going to go out of style. But cyberbullying has undergone a rebirth. See, now you can torment someone that you've never met. And you might just be one of their 900,000 followers. See, now you can cast your opinion on their hair, their clothes, the way they smile, how they dance, without ever knowing how their voice sounds in person. If this cyberspace were a school, I bet that half the people I knew would be sitting in the principal's office. I bet that most of them wouldn't graduate to get their degree in kindness. See, if this place that we all connected on cell phones were a playground, you wouldn't even have picked me to be on your team. I practice every day. I practice being resilient. I practice letting the weight and the insults just fall right off of me. Sometimes, I daydream about cyberbullying and how it's a faint memory. I smile. Thinking about the days when Instagram ruled the halls and how there was no one to police us being reckless. But you know what? I forgive you. I forgive you. And I apologize for not remembering you, for pressing send, for scrolling left when I knew it wasn't right. I really, I really don't understand. It isn't human to make someone feel bad, not on purpose, not over and over again. It would be really nice if we could all just love each other for our differences, instead of hating one another for our talents. This isn't just for children, it's for adults too. No matter how old you are, people matter. Everyone deserves a moment to bask in the light of the sun. But somewhere along the way, MySpace and Facebook changed the way that we all define the word friend. And someone you follow on Instagram could be sitting right next to you, and you have no idea how to interact with them face to face. So you just sit and double tap their latest status. Because double taps have taken on the role of a real compliment, and shares have become approval, and unfriending and blocking is now the way that we express conflict. It's now the way that we say we have a problem. No one could actually have 953,000 friends. No one person would be comfortable with 4.5 million human beings actually following them. See, we could all settle to be a little more heart, a lot less bully, and far more human and shut down our necessity to live in a world whose religion is merely cyber. You really don't need 953,000 friends. It would be so cool if we could go back to the time and you knew that if your whole world crashed, you had someone that you could really lean on. Maybe not a handful, but certainly one. <laughs>